What's up everybody out here at the track doing a little workout. I know it's been a while since I made a video so I figured I'd bring you along and uh, show you what's going on. So I did take a couple weeks off from training completely. Uh, as you probably know if you follow my Instagram or my Twitter. Well I didn't post on Twitter. I posted on Instagram and Facebook that uh, had a baby. So I got a beautiful baby boy. He's healthy. Mom's healthy. Everything's good. So we're super grateful for that. During that time I took time off because A, you know, when you have a baby, you're not getting much sleep. You gotta support mom. Um, there's just a lot to be done, you know? So there's that. And then also I wanted to take a break from training just because, you know, I trained all year, ran the season, ran well, broke my personal best. So I think it was time to just take a little break. But now I'm back at the track. Now I'm not hopping straight into like full on sprint training because I don't wanna burn myself out. I don't wanna get hurt. I wanna ease back into things. So what I'm doing is a complex right now. And if you join the Team X or the online training group that I got, I'll link it below. These are some of the workouts that are gonna be in there. But the complex is a combination of straight leg bounds for distance, straight leg bounds for frequency, an alternate leg bound, and uh, an acceleration. I think the complexes are good because it forces you to, you know, be aware of your body in different movements. Um, it's an opportunity to sort of train different tissues. So for example, the straight leg bounds are gonna hit your hips and hamstrings a little bit more than other exercises. Alternate leg bounds are good for working on posture, force production, that sort of thing. And then you kind of bring it all together with the acceleration. I'm wearing the uh, Antipes Muscle Runners as my shoe of choice. Oh, where are we? There we are. Um, for the workout today, I'm not hopping back into spikes quite yet. And I'm not gonna hop back into max flies for a while, even when I bring back spikes. Uh, I just ordered a pair of Jaw Fly 4s, they're on sale, I'll link that below as well. Got them for like 60 bucks, so that's pretty good. Um, but anyways, the goal of the workout is to work on developing elasticity, covering ground, being powerful, but still keeping the intensity a little bit lower than where I was at when I finished the season. In between sets, I'm sipping on my drink here. I got some uh, low sugar lemonade, it's like, you know, with stevia or whatever. And then I throw carbolin in, the unflavored. It's just a, a good carbohydrate source for when you're training. I got 10 grams of creatine in there and 22, 25 grams of collagen protein. So I like collagen because it doesn't mess up my stomach. And I think it's good to take in collagen because we don't eat that much of it. Unless you eat a lot of steaks with like the gristly bits still on, it, on there, you're not getting much collagen in your diet. And it's the most uh, common protein in your whole body. Whether or not it really helps with collagen synthesis or not, I mean, whatever, but I just like having an easy to drink collagen source that doesn't mess with my stomach. So anyways, I'm gonna hop in, do a set, and then I'll check in in a little bit. All right, so I did a set. Um, I would say the straight leg bounce for distance were a little wonky. I think I caught my toe and it, it threw me off a little bit. The frequency ones felt a little better than the last time I did them because I've done this workout once before this year. Um, as in, I've done it, you know, like, like I did one a week ago. The frequency felt better. Um, still kind of getting used to it, but um, bounds felt okay. I'm used to doing a double arm uh, arm swing right now. I'm doing the alternating arms like like when you're sprinting So, you know, just getting kind of used to all that stuff acceleration felt okay So I'll take a little rest drink some of this do another set
All right, did another set. I would say the uh, straight leg bounds were better. I felt a little bit more rhythmic, especially on the straight leg bound for distance. Frequency one, I might've gotten a little tight, but I did feel a good tension in my hamstrings and everything, so, you know, it's all good. The alternate leg bound was not good. So if you look at that video, I was very flat and I felt like my posture was too far forward. You know, if you're doing an acceleration bound, for example, you can have a forward posture, but it needs to be kind of a straight line through your whole body. You don't want to be all hunched over. And for me, I just feel like I didn't produce enough vertical force, so I wasn't getting off the ground very much. I was just going forward, like just skating forward. So I got one more set and I'd like to correct my posture, produce a little bit more vertical force on that alternate leg bound um, and, you know, see where it goes from there. The acceleration felt a little better, still a little wonky, but it's all good. Um, you know, on this channel, I like to show the good, the bad and the ugly. So <laughs> you get to see it all, not just the perfect reps. Now for the workout itself, I'm doing uh, 20 meters today. Last week I did 15 and I did not do the acceleration. So I bumped up the distance a little bit and added the accelerations in. Uh, for rest, I'm just walking back in between each rep. And then between the sets, I'm taking, I don't know, four or five minutes rest, just let my body chill out a little bit. It's a little warm out here. Uh, so let myself cool down a little bit, not cool down, but you know, get my heart rate down a little bit, then go back and do another set. So this will be my fourth set. First one was kind of a warm up, but it was still intense enough to count as, as a set. Um, also, I would say I, I haven't done bounds in these muscle runners before. I'm used to doing them in my Brooks uh, Adrenaline GTS 23s and then my Nike triple jump spikes. So it's a little bit different. You're going to get more of a four foot contact when you're using the Antiques muscle runners. It's, uh, it's good for developing your calves like I talked about in the review of them. Um, but this is my first time doing a full bounding workout in them. And I noticed that if the bounds feel a little bit different. So one reason why I'm using them um, not only because like they're just better for the sprints um, as far as you know running is concerned but I do want to work on getting a little bit more lengthening through my calf um, just to train those tissues a little bit more get a little more eccentric stimulus in there um, and because these have the elevated heel similar to a pair of spikes I figured I'd try them out on some bounds so whether it's you know good or not I guess we'll find out but that's some of the reasoning behind why I'm using these shoes today. Um, so I'm going to hop back in, do my last set, and I'll check in with you in a few. All right, that set was much better. So uh, on the bounds, I felt like I was much more upright, producing vertical force, not just skating, you know, horizontally across the track. Still lacking a little bit of force output, but I think that's because I'm used to the double arm as opposed to the alternating arms. So over time, you know, I'll get used to that. But that was much better. Acceleration felt okay, everything else felt good. So now we're on to the next thing. So over my shoulder here, we've got some cones set up. What I'm gonna do is some low hops working on emphasizing the ankle joint. So I don't want to yield at the knee. I don't want to yield at the hip very much. I want to keep those as straight as I can so I can isolate the ankle joint. If you're trying to work on, you know, force production through the knee joint, the hip joint, then you'd probably want to go for a little bit bigger of a jump, more yielding, more amortization, um, basically more bending in your joints. But because I'm trying to isolate the ankle joint right now, I'm doing low hops, emphasizing, you know, getting off the ground quickly, good stiffness throughout my joints and my legs, good posture, because if you do these and you start bending or leaning, uh, it all kind of falls apart. So emphasizing posture, getting quick off the ground. I'll do a few sets of these, and then we will finish up the workout.
All right, everybody. So that is a wrap for this workout. I did four sets uh, with, let's see, one, two, three. I got six cones out, so it's about five, five contacts in between. Uh, felt pretty good. And I noticed I was kind of looking down at the beginning, kind of getting used to where I am within the cones. But then as I got through the cones, it was easier to put my focus more on the horizon. And when I did that, I felt like the hops were better, more, you know, better postural alignment, all that. And every, you know, anytime you're doing jumping, sprinting, plyos, lifting, whatever, posture is huge because if you're in a bad position, you're not going to be able to apply force properly. You'll topple over, you'll hit the ground wrong. Things kind of fall apart if your posture is not good. So emphasize posture, short ground contacts, and they felt pretty good. I think doing these in the Antibes muscle runners is helpful because then it allows you to kind of really emphasize that uh, forefoot contact, get the Achilles to load, and uh, you know work on just working those that ankle joint, calves, things like that. So from here, I'm gonna shut it down. I'll do a little bit of some light stretching, uh, maybe some little accessories and stuff like that, but nothing major. So I'm gonna end the video here. Now, if you're interested in either the shoes I'm wearing, spikes I talked about that I ordered today, uh, or you're interested in joining my online training group, check the links below. Uh, you can find it there, but if not, no worries. Um, I'll catch you guys soon. I'm going to try to make some videos more frequently uh, so that way, you know, we can keep, keep on with the training, keep you guys in the loop, and uh, just continue to uh, do what we all love to do, which is train. So, hope you guys are doing well. Sorry it's been so long since I posted a video. We'll get back to consistent content here shortly, hopefully, and uh, that's all I got. Catch you guys next time. Cody Bidlow with SprintingWorkouts.com and AthleteX, signing off.